of player control. A few weeks after Anthony Davis forced a move to the Lakers, Paul George demanded a trade to the Clippers to team up with Kawhi. Both Davis and George were under contract for at least another year with their former teams, but still maneuvered their way out. Shannon, hmm? do you like this new NBA? I love it. I love it. I love the players having this kind of power mm. because what we're seeing now, the, the, uh, the paradigm start to shift. The players are starting to do to teams what the teams have done for so long to them. Let me ask you this, Skip. If the Clippers go to Sam Preston and say, you know what? We got four unprotected draft picks, a couple swaps, and a protected draft pick mm. for Paul George. You think Sam Preston do that deal? Mm. Without a doubt. Now, Russell Westbrook never said, I want out. But Sam Preston was willing to put him in a deal to get him up out of town. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, the teams are always going to do what's in the best interest of the team. Now the players, and the, even though the league and the CBA has tried to make it cost prohibitive, we can give you an extra year if you stay with your team, and it'll be in excess of somewhere around 40 to $50 million. We saw Kimba, Kyrie, KD, Kawhi. We saw all these guys leave money on the table to take more of control over their career that says, mm -hmm. I want to go where I want to go. I want to play with who I want to play with, and there's nothing you can do about it. I love this, Skip. I love it. It's all The teams have been doing this. I mean, there's a reason why the Celtics and the Lakers played for all those in the finals all those years in the 80s mm. because they had the best players, and the team put those teams together. They did. And the people have gotten accustomed, well, as long as the team do it, it's got to be right but we don't want players. The player says, nah, we're going to remove you guys from the equation. They are. We <clears throat> are going to put teams together, mm -hmm. and we're going to play where we want to play, when we want to play. Now, they've taken these long contracts. Skip, you remember, I remember Glenn Robinson signed a 10-year deal, and then it went down to seven, and so now the max deal you can get is five. The guy said, I don't care. Five years, three years, four years. If I want to leave, I don't care how many years I got on my contract, get me up out of here, or I'm going to cause a stink. Mm -hmm. So, I love it. Mm. I don't love it. <laughs> I'm one who has made the case repeatedly on this show that the NBA is starting to threaten the popularity of your game, the National Football League. Yep. And yet, now I'm starting to feel it's starting to tilt back the other direction because probably older guard, some people out there are going to say, wait a second. Do contracts no longer matter? Because it seems like they just don't matter. Mm -mm. It, it just, you, you don't They never to, matter. Okay, all right. Well, you can, you can make that case. But, again, the owners basically run the National Football League. The players are starting to run the National Basketball Association. So why haven't we seen this in your league? You're in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. They don't have guaranteed contracts. Okay? Except for the quarterbacks. They mostly have guaranteed contracts, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So when are we going to see a quarterback say, you know what, I don't have enough help. No. <laughs> I, I want to go there. No. And, and if you guys don't like it, I'm, I'm just going to start throwing interceptions. <laughs> or, or I just won't, I won't even try anymore. Right. I don't want to no. play. Don't play me anymore. Mm -mm. Have we seen that yet? No. Are we looking, for, is that in the you, future for I the think, NFL? No, because Skip, I think the thing is with basketball, it's always been a player's league. And they've never had this kind of power, but they, they've always had power now. There's a reason why Magic Johnson can go to Dr. Buss and says, I want him gone after he's won a, a, a title. True. Larry Bird saying, nah, I don't want to play for him anymore. Get me another coach. Okay, but neither one of those guys went to their owner and said, get me out of here. No, 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 right? no, no, no. But they've always had that kind of power. Mm -hmm. I don't, the NFL players have never had this kind of power because they've never had the guaranteed contract. Skip, when you get guaranteed money, it, get, it emboldens you. Because what you going to do? Nothing. See, in football, you act a fool, they cut you. And then what you got to show for it? Mm -hmm. All that, oh, it looks so good. He signed a five-year, $115 million with $80 million guarantee. Well, basically, you got what you signed for in the year that you played. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Cut a basketball player. Mm -hmm. And he going to get all $171 million mm -hmm. or all $200 million. Mm -hmm. So they have that kind of control. They have that kind of leeway. Mm -hmm. I love it, Skip Bayless, because teams have been do teams. Blake Griffin didn't ask to be traded. Clippers got it right up out of Dodge. Mm -hmm. None of the, a lot of these guys don't ask to be traded, but well, we're doing what's best for the team. And players are saying, you know what? We are a brand now. I want to do what's best for my team, and it's best for my team.
to get up out of here. Okay. Are we looking at chaos ensuing? Maybe. Are we looking at player after player saying, I've just had enough of this situation. I want to play with my friend so-and-so over and so-and-so. Oh, no, no, I don't. And at some point, it's going to start hurting the brand that the NBA has built. Because a lot of fans aren't going to love this. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Don't let Giannis win a, a championship in the next couple of years. Oh, he about to get up out of Milwaukee. OK, I, I get that one because he, he will have earned the right to go. So he, yeah. he will become a free agent. Mm -hmm. But when I go back to your game, I saw Le'Veon. He just decided, I want out. I want right. more money, whatever. I, I don't well, love it here anymore. Well, the, the, the and what happened to him? He lost $14.5 right. million dollars right. just sitting, right? Because, see, Skip, you can't be free if you inhibit my ability to go somewhere else. I put a tag on you. I can franchise you. I can transition you. Mm -hmm. And then you can't leave. And basketball players, once my contract is up, mm -hmm. you got nothing. Mm -mm. Football always have that leverage. So you really, and baseball, baseball have, you know, freedom like that. Mike Trout, if Mike Trout, if Mike Trout went to Artie Marino, the owner of the mm -hmm. A's, uh, the Angels, excuse mm -hmm. me, and says, you know what? I want to leave. Now, he just signed that massive deal, $400 plus million. But if he says, I want to go to the Yankees, they're going to find a way to make it happen. Mm. There's not a situation in football I don't believe that'll happen because they have so much control. Mm. They don't want those floodgates to open. You know the NFL, Skip, they try to suppress all negative behavior. If you don't believe it, ask Cap. Mm. Okay. I, I got you on that. <laughs> but what I don't like... What 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 sticks in my craw and rubs me the wrong way on principle is what number two did to my Spurs, where he just said, "I I want to go to L.A., so I'm just going to quit." He was hurt. He he wasn't hurt. So think of what happened. He misses 73 games and he makes 18 million dollars. Really, mm -hmm. Anthony Davis last year missed what 26 games. They saw him. Played, he played in parts of 56 games. And he made $25.4 million. Skip, that's New Orleans. New Orleans chose to do that. Right. AD wanted to play. Well, I don't know. Look, okay, look at Cleveland. Okay. Look at JR. They say, JR, go home. Okay. Make it $16 million, nobody said a word. Okay, are the smaller NBA markets going to just start drying up? Because they can't, again, New Orleans rallied because they got David Griffin, then they hit the lottery. But it took hitting the lottery to rally, right? What, what Skip, you got to get, if you're a small market team, you're not going to attract free agents. You better hit the ping pong ball. Yeah. And what happened with Michael Jordan? He's missing more than he's hitting, and then when he hits it with Kemba, he can't keep it. Oh, it's a GM. Yeah, the G. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep him. Uh -uh. I mean, David. I mean, OKC. You're not really gonna get anybody. But you got KD one year, and then you got Russ the next year, and then you got James Harden, mm -hmm. and then you get Serge Ibaka. You're like, okay, we're in the money. Mm -hmm. But you got to be able to keep him. You can't keep them, Skip. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Big market, large, small market, medium sized market. It's a talent based league. The superstars run it because Kawhi says, "I want to play with Paul George." He goes to Paul George. Yep. We didn't even know they had that type of relationship. Kyrie and KD, Skip. Everybody saw this coming from a mile away. Mm -hmm. He goes to Paul George and convinces Paul George to go to Sam Preston and say, "Get me up out of here with three years left." Mm. Contracts don't matter anymore. No, they shouldn't matter. They never matter okay. to the player, the owners, because no. they've been trading them for years. Mm. We got to leave this one here, guys. We've got another hot button one for you to wrestle over coming up after this break. The Lakers did not get Kawhi, and is it all Magic Johnson's fault? Ooh. Ooh. I'll discuss that one when Eat we come up. back.